It's a craft that's been around for centuries. A tradition passed down in families and an art form that is most identified with European and American cultures. So how did this group of Israelis get into quilting? Well, one day I went to see a girlfriend of mine and she was making a quilt for her daughter and uh, I couldn't believe the colours that she was using and the whole thing just seemed to tell me such a story and it was so beautiful. I see the fabrics and they, they just bring joy into my life. Officially, there are just 350 members of the Israel Quilters Association. Unofficially, hundreds more take part in this traditional craft. Lacking a history of quilting, they're taking this old world craft and transforming it to an updated art form with a very local narrative. What I've discovered that with the quilt revival of recent years that many countries which have their own quilting traditions at the beginning of the new age of quilting have looked to America and to Europe as a source of inspiration but gradually they have gone back to their own original quilts. And I think that eventually in Israel that a true Israeli quilt will evolve which depends on traditions which have been brought to Israel from the diaspora and just living in Israel, which is always exciting. Many Israeli quilters exhibit abroad, but now they're getting ready for the first ever international group exhibition of Israeli quilts. These are the works that will be shown at the Festival of Quilts, the biggest quilt show in Europe in August 2012. They all tell the story of the kibbutz, Israel's communal settlements identified with laying the foundations of the country. And it's not just the subject matter, like the kibbutz, that makes a quilt unique and Israeli. Some quilters, like Linda Baron, use only local fabrics and traditions. This one is called The Lion Has Six Names. Again, in the Jewish tradition, when lions were part of the landscape once upon a time, in biblical times, the lion has six different names and each one has its own biblical quotation. Quilts are usually made of top quality imported cotton, which can make it an expensive hobby. But many quilters here are adept at recycling discarded fabric, from silk ties to old jeans. This is a quilt that I've made for somebody for a wedding gift. These are seven denim shirts that I cut up. Every fabric tells a story. Every fabric has its association, whether it's lace or velvet or denim. Israel may not have a heritage of quilting, but drawing on creativity, imagination and enthusiasm, these quilters are developing a new tradition all of their own with a unique Israeli flavour.